Okay. Anyone who says you can sleep when you die, tell them to come talk to me after a few months as an intern. Of course, it's not just the job that keeps us up all night. You have to get up now. What? Oh my God, what time is it? It's 5.20, and I have three rounds. Oh. And you have to leave before they see you. Oh, come on. Why don't you just let them see you? <laughs> no, please. No, no. You get any sleep? <sighs> she could boil the bed springs as a courtesy, or at least buy a padded headboard. Oh, so who's the guy? You think it was just one guy doing all that work? Yeah. Do you mind if I don't think about that? No. Jealous. Not jealous of it. Well, I am. But at least I know she'll be having a long day at work. Well, at least we know brain surgery isn't his only skill. They can't be. He's her boss. We're late. He's all of our boss. Now, she has been scrubbing in a lot lately on his surgeries. No, Meredith wouldn't sleep with him, just, no. Well, if she's not ashamed of it, why is she keeping it a secret? Maybe she didn't. Maybe it just happened. You know, spontaneously last night. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, so it sounded like you were having some pretty radical sex last night. All night long. Who's the guy? No one you know. <laughs> we we'll wait. Let's go. I mean, if life's so hard...